Well, a lot of longtime locals are feeling like this could be one of the coldest months of March we've ever experienced. So what do the numbers say? Jaden Urban joins us live now with how this March compares to past years. All right, Jaden, what can you tell us? Well, Ari, today is the day I walk in the shoes of the one and only Mike Alger. Now, while it does feel like a cold March, it's not necessarily due to low temperatures, rather to the lack of warmer days of 60 degrees or above. As you can see on the graph here, on average in the past 30 years, we have 15 days of 60 degree or higher days near the airport. This month, we've only had two, which is the second fewest, and last year we hit 19 days. And now if you take a look at this calendar, on March 14th and March 18th were the only two days we hit above 60 degrees, as we have scattered 40 and 50 degree days with a few 30 degree days in there as well. So if you look here in March in terms of average high temperature, this one ranks the second coldest when it comes to average low temperature. This one ranks somewhere in the middle, but development around the airport has greatly affected <clears throat> low temperatures. So this is still a very cold month in terms of low temperatures. They have been tracking for almost 90 years. So while we haven't quite reached the highs March normally sees, we haven't seen too many super low temperatures either. Now today I spoke with the National Weather Service on how this season is almost setting records. And we actually haven't hit over 65 degrees since October 30th of 2022. So that's why it's felt so long lasting is that we're almost setting records for the amount of days that we haven't hit 65 degrees. That makes it almost 148 days since we last saw temperatures in that range. In comparison to last March, according to the National Weather Service, the average high temperature was about 63 degrees. The average high of temperatures this March so far is 48 degrees. I'll have reactions from Northern Nevadans and Mike Alger's stance on why this month has been so cold coming up in the 530. Covering the story, Jaden Urban, 2 News. And that explains why my power bill is so extremely high. Jaden, thank you. And please stay with 2 News for Stormwatch continuing coverage on the air, online, and on our free 2 News app.